playground everywhere. <laughs> Welcome everybody, this is Saki. Some other great facilities they've got at the Victor Harbour Big Truck Caravan Park is um, an awesome facilities um, area for families and you know couples, whoever you're travelling with. Uh, there's a game through here for the kids, for the bigger kids. Um, over this way we've got a community room with the TV area. And um, to the right of me, which is the left of you, they've got a great barbecue um, outdoor area which overlooks the pool and the jumping pillow. So you can cook up a few snags and watch the kiddies have some fun on the biggest jumping pillow in South Australia. If a caravan and camping isn't for you, the Victor Harbour Beachfront Tourist Resort has uh, these wonderful uh, villas and studio apartments to rent and hire um, with a great view and uh, plenty of green grass for the kids to play on. Beautiful Victor Harbour providing some beautiful sunshine for our happy hour this afternoon. We're just going to go up to reception and meet the lovely managers, um, Erin and Brad. Uh, here we are on the beautiful Kuru Peninsula with uh, Brad and Erin, managers of the Victor Harbour Beachfront Tourist Caravan Club. They're going to let us know, um, tell us about a few things with their caravan club. Well, thanks, Dave, Corey. Um, we're a top tourist park here in Victor Harbour on the Kuru Peninsula. Uh, we have 39 cabins, we have 16 ensuite sites and 170 tourist sites which we can accommodate tents, camper trailers, 40 foot fifth wheelers if need be or 16, 17 foot caravans, whichever needs to come in we can accommodate. So to make a booking or contact us or to see what specials we're running, either go to our Facebook page, our website or just give us a call on 8552 what a cracker interview we've got here. So, um, yeah, make Victor Harbour Tourist Park your um, one of your next destinations down here on the Fleury Peninsula, South Australia. Here we are at Victor Harbour in South Australia, the most beautiful place um, that we've been to on the beach. Um, we're just going to take a big walk. There's a bit of um, settling history here as well, so um, we'll take you for a walk so you can look at the view. It's absolutely beautiful. So you can see Corey and Zach walking over to the cliffs and we look out to the ocean and it is absolutely beautiful today. Yesterday we did a boat cruise out on the ocean and it took us out there and when you go around here you can see an island in the background. Uh, that's where we saw some New Zealand fur seals. The scenery here is absolutely nothing short of amazing. It is just, the water is just crystal blue and it's like the agricultural, the, where they, um, they farm sheep and cattle goes sort of right to the water so the cows and sheep have like the most luxurious views of these beautiful bays. South Australia is definitely something that you should put on your to-do list because it's totally taken our breath away. So this area is all about the early settlers. Um, they used to come through this way and actually whale. And they used to um, use the whale oil, they used the, the blubber, they'd um, boil it into oil and then they would use it, uh, send it back home to England and use it for things like uh, lamps and um, uh, you know various other things. But here's a bit of history about the, um, the guys that settled here. Another interesting fact about the area is they used to, um, they mined granite here and there's a bit of a quarry on one, a few of the islands and they shipped that granite all the way into Adelaide and actually made um, Parliament House um, in Adelaide with the granite from this area. So a bit of history there for you folks. But while you're all at home on your computers watching this, we're lucky enough to be exploring this absolutely beautiful country of ours.